is Easter in the Bible. Giving all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Racha Kudash. Double honor to the apostles and elders, a great millstone that rule well and labor in the word and doctrine. Shalom, meaning peace, may that be unto the elect of the nation of Israel. Is Easter in the Bible? Right, guess what the short answer is? Yes. Guess what the short answer is? No. Is this guy bugged out? Is he confused? Is he double minded and unstable in all his ways? Find out next time. Right, so let's get into it. Let's address this. Is Easter in the Bible? Right, the word Easter is in the Bible. Is the pagan idolatrous celebration that you find in Western mainstream Gentile Christianity, plantation Christianity, as coined by Elder Apostle Tar, which is that's what it is. You know, we learn that in the plantation. Is that in the scriptures? Absolutely not. Are you gonna go into the scripture, open the book, and read about how the Easter bunny, which a bunny doesn't lay eggs, you know, simple biology. You know, I had to, I, it took me a while to work that one out. But anyway, so is Easter in the Bible? Yes, it is. Is Easter in the Bible? No, it's not. So without further ado, this is the book of Acts chapter 12, verse 4. And this is talking about the arrest of Peter. Acts 12 and 4, it said, And when he had apprehended him, when he, excuse me, when he had apprehended him, him being Peter, he put him in prison and delivered him to four quaternions of soldiers to keep him, intending after, excuse me, intending after Easter to bring him forth to the people. So, were they waiting for the Easter egg hunt to finish? Now, wait for the bunny to, to fuck off before they proceeded? No, let's look. So, let's just take it on face value, right? If you don't get into words, you'll start thinking, right, Easter is in the Bible. Which the word, it is, you know, as I've said repeatedly, the word is. But is the concept, the ideology, the doctrine, the philosophy behind modern Easter in the scriptures? No, it's absolutely not. So this is why you need to get deeper than skin deep, right? You need to get subdermal, biblically subdermal in this, right? So what's the word for Easter? <clears throat> Listen to Mr. Strong's G say it. Strong's G, 3957. Pascha. 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 And if you're familiar with the Hebrew, you would understand that is the, the all that is is a corruption of Pasach. Pasach, right? Instead of saying Pasach, you say Pascha, right? So that's all it is. It's a bastardization, a corruption of the Hebrew. So there's nothing to do with Easter, right? As you can see from that. You're not going to go into Leviticus, was it Leviticus 23, and it's going to talk about Easter, right? Ancient Easter. But you will find about the Pesach, right? You will find about the, um, yeah, the Passover, Exodus 12. That's what I meant to say. Right, that's that story. There's no, all right, Moses. Well, the Israelites came out of Egypt. So now you need to get some Easter bunnies. Oops. Now you need to get some Easter bunnies, you know, set them around. Give Easter bunnies to Zebulun. Give Easter bunnies to Naphtali. You know, give some eggs to Benjamin. You know, it didn't go down like that, man. So it says the Paschal sacrifice, which that's a word today used, right? The Pas Paschal is an English word directly from this Greek word Pascha, which is directly from the Hebrew Pasach, right? That is the original Hebrew word. Right, the Paschal sacrifice, which was accustomed to be offered for the people's deliverance of old from Egypt. Right, so what the fuck is a bunny as an egg got to do with anything to do with what has that got to do with ancient Egypt? The deliverance of the Israelites out of Egypt. It's got fuck all to do with it. Right, it's got jack shit. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. So you can see how you know the pagan switching up of this is, is being infiltrated. And people will go to the scriptures to justify it. See, it says Easter. It says this one word here. I'm just gonna. I'm not. I'm not gonna go anything further than skin deep. It says the word Easter, so I guess we're gonna have to go on an Easter egg hunt. You know, ninjas are simple, man. It says the Paschal lamb. I had a point, but I forgot it. So let's proceed. The Paschal lamb, i.e., the lamb the Israelites. So who is it? Who's? If you're gonna get technical, who should be keeping Easter? Right? If it is Easter. Who, who, who are the ones that were commanded, you know, to keep this feast upon this? It's the Israelites, right? And of course, we weren't commanded to keep Easter. We were commanded to keep the Passover, HaPesach. But if you're going to talk about a group of people that are meant to keep this feast, it's not even the whole world, right? So the whole, the whole thing is being corrupted. <laughs> the lamb the Israelites were accustomed to slay and eat on the 14th day of the month of Nisan, the first month of their year, in memory of the day on which their fathers, right? Was that collective... Collective, pres collective, possessive, 
right? So all, all of them, and they possess, it's their father, it's not everyone's fathers, preparing to depart from Egypt, were bidden by God, by the Most High, to slay and eat a lamb, and to sprinkle their doorposts with, with its blood, seeing that the destroying angel, seeing the blood, might pass over their dwellings. The Messiah crucified is likened to the slain Paschal lamb. And that's right, 1 Corinthians 5 and 7 tells us that Yahweh Shai is our Pesach. Right, and we had the Pesach. We had the Pesach you know, last month. Certainly not, you know. <laughs> All right, they talk about Easter is meant to be, you know, in the, in the modern Christian version. It's meant to be to do with the death, burial and resurrection of Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach. And when you start to analyze that, Right, three days and three nights. Explain that one. Right, that's all we're saying. It. You know, a simple question like that will, you know, them card, they say card towers, playing cards. You pull out the bottom one, all that shit comes trum crumbling down. You need a simple question, and all plantation Christian shit comes tumbling down. This doctrine we learned on the plantation, under the oppressor, under the one that raped, robbed, despoiled, defrauded our four parents. That is not the truth, right? And a lot of our people have Stockholm Syndrome and it's difficult for them to put away these idolatrous pagan feasts, right? But it's nothing to do with the scriptures. It says here, the Paschal Supper, it says the Paschal Feast, the Feast of the Passover, extending from the 14th to the 20th day of the month of Nisan. Now, if you go into different translations, you know, some will say, it. some will admit what this is. So they were intending after the Passover, right? Not after Easter. Even the New King James Version it says, so when he had arrested him, he put him in prison and delivered him to four squads of soldiers to keep him, intending to bring him before the people after Passover. Right, damn near all of them say that. You know, so it was an intentional, you know, translation to push out that, that Passover. So yeah, we use the King James Version for the most part, you know, when we're going out, when we're reading. But if there's any dis discrepancy like this, we'll go into the words. I'm not saying that like, we'll go into the, but you need to, right? The Most High set up, you know, men to teach, and he set up certain tools, you know, to get into it. You know, we can't be, we can't be fucking lazy. We've got all this at our fingertips, right? You have to remember the men of the Lord of old. They'd have to, for example, go into the synagogue, right? Hear this, and they pull out the Torah, they pull out the scroll, right? Like Yahweh did when he went into Isaiah six to one and five, and we have the idea. The fact I can say Isaiah 61 and 5 and those brothers that are you know, accustomed with the scriptures to a certain degree are going to, or that are accustomed to the scriptures, are going to know what I'm talking about to a certain degree. Right, Isaiah 61, oh yeah, that's talking about the gospel. It's a point unto them that are mourning Zion. You know, Isaiah 61 and 5 specifically is talking about strangers, you know, the non-Israelites being the workmen or the slaves, the servants of the Israelites. You know, so if you're... If I can say Isaiah 6, 1 and 5 and that can come to your mind. Well, it wasn't all numbered up like that. You know, so we've got a lot of advantages. So use them. You know, fucking use them, man. Stop being lazy. So N NKJV, Passover. NLT, New Tr Living Translation, Passover. ASV, Passover. DBY, Passover. Right, Pesach. I think he, he, he HNV <laughs> stands for Hebrew. I'm laughing because I was stuttering. RSV Passover, right here. Pascha, even in the Greek, the uh, Latin Vulgate. You know, it just keeps going. Passover, 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 Passover. Uh, Pascua, or Pascua, and I think that's Spanish. Passover, Passover. So you, if you see, all of them say Passover. You know, I don't know what that is. New Arabic version or something. But I bet that doesn't say Easter. Now, correct me if I'm wrong for any Arabic scholars out there. Right, this, I believe, is Chinese version. I bet it doesn't say Easter. Korean version, doubt that says Easter. Chinese and Korean scholars, hit my line, let me know. The French, right, Pak. It's got a capital P, so you know that's dealing with the Passover, but it's not to do with Easter. You know, so is it Easter in the Bible? Yes, it is, but no, it's not. Right, so you need to go into words. Get this last scripture. It was just meant to be a quick hit, you know. But the point, Lord William, was made that you need to go further than skin deep, you know, especially on matters, you know, that may appear. If you got the whole doctrine right 
and you started teaching about Easter, you know, you fucked it all up. Is it not written a little leaven leaveneth the whole lump? All right, so we need to come correct. Second Peter, sorry, Second Timothy chapter 2, verse 15. It said, Study to show thyself approved unto the Most High, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Now, if you start giving a breakdown, talking about Easter bunnies, Easter eggs, going into Easter, oh, the Jews used to keep Easter, da 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 you know, that's a shame. You know, so we'll leave it there. I pray it was edifying, exhorting. On to the next video, Lord willing. On to this video, Lord willing. All praises to Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Racha Kodash. Shalom.